time to upgrade. So I'm going from the Hyundai, which is nice, to the Jeep. Because there's no better way to explore Utah, Wyoming, and the Black Hills of South Dakota than the American Jeep. So this thing even has an Alpine stereo system with a giant woofer in the back. Satellite navigation, all the trip stuff, that four wheel drive, all the inputs. I love that they have these auxiliaries, so if you do like external lighting or any other, like a wrench or something, you can wire them directly into the dash rather than have external shit with wiring everywhere. Build descent control. So you can even turn the screen off, that's pretty cool. Huh? Of course inside, you've got the roll cage here, so this top can come off if I want it to. And I understand that these T-tops are very easy to get up and you can store them in the back. The rest of the roof, not so much, but I think it'll be perfect for my trip into the mountains. I'm about to go through the uh, Rocky Mountains and on my way through Wyoming. And I'm in the worst possible vehicle for driving on the freeways here. But it is really cool to drive it and I'm looking forward to having a lot of fun with my new toy. It's got a much different driving feel than the Hyundai. You're reminded constantly that you're in a Jeep. Then there's a million satellite radio channels. I'm gonna have to, you know, scroll through some on my way through Wyoming. There's an awful lot more noise, and the steering is very numb. It does have cruise control, but it doesn't have adaptive cruise control and the lane keep assist. So I've developed some lazy habits driving the Hyundai and then coming back to this. Uh, I have to remember when someone pulls in front of me that the cruise control is not going to grab it and fix it. I have to remember that I have to fix it. It's those little things. Small town in Wyoming, and I have no idea where I'm at. I just stopped to get some water, but quaint little town. I don't know the name of this town. Ah, uh, Evanston, Evanston, Wyoming. Okay, I've heard of this place. <laughs> In a Jeep, you can just drive off the side of the road and find yourself alone. I've been driving now for about four hours. Just another five or six more to go. Rapid City, South Dakota. I love this town. I lived here for many years. It's a very interesting little, little city with all kinds of great shops downtown. And uh, I'm just here to do some paperwork and then on my way into the mountains. smaller form of Cabela's and they have nothing but outdoor stuff here. It's like a giant toy store for adults. Paul, why are you in South Dakota? Well, the truth is, this is my state of residency. I lived here for many, many years when I was stationed at the base out at Ellsworth near Rapid City. I gotta come back and get a new driver's license. Now, unlike other states, such as California, where that 
process could take a whole day and then they mail it to you and it's just a pain in the neck with the lines and there's crowds. Here in South Dakota, it's $28. You're in and out in 20 minutes. If I had a vehicle to register, it would be pretty much the same process. You know, South Dakota just knows how to handle government work much, much better than any of the other states I've ever been to. So that's why. Plus, it's beautiful here. The Black Hills are sacred. Rockerville, South Dakota. It's basically the very last stop that you make before you head into the park and to my camping spot tonight, which I don't know if it's going to be any good. It's near a lake and a hiking trail, but uh, you know I love the Black Hills and I love camping in the Black Hills. Anywhere here is special. This town pretty much consists of a little lodge, maybe a general store. I am about 15 miles from Mount Rushmore uh, in the same Black Hills. I'm gonna be in Custer State Park. found a campsite for the night. I'm on a row of tent campers and there's a couple of big trailers down below me blocking a view of the lake. But let's go walk down and check it out. 